Brick Maniacs, it's time for another episode of Brick, Brick Mania, Mania TV. TV. Ooh, harmonizing. Um, Mercury Control Center, correct? Correct. That's what this is, kit is called. Let's, a little bit of history here. It was originally the Mercury Control originally. Center and then got changed to Mission Control Center, cool. I do believe. Yeah, so these guys uh, at NASA wanted to uh, send rockets and people up into the moon and stuff and they needed a control center. Right. And here it is. These dudes at NASA are like, we should send a rocket. Okay, so first of all, uh, Brickmania has a new theme, right. Space Race, and uh, we've already kicked it off with, uh, what do we have, it? at least one kit, the X1, um, broke the sound barrier, right. and so now we have Mission Control. The, the Mercury Control Center was uh, for like the first control center um, with the Mercury to send up um, John Glenn mm -hmm. into space to do his orbit. Um, the, I can't remember, Alan Shepard, but all, all of the um, the next rockets that went into space, this control center right. only got bigger. So interestingly, um, if you buy this kit, which is crazy cool, we've never done so many figures and so much printing no, in this. It never. is unbelievable, it really. Is. I mean, <laughs> even in that brick media, everyone keeps stopping by looking like, oh my gosh, how cool is it? Um, but if you got this and you had it at home, you could actually expand this for future, like if you have the Lego Saturn, you know, and you want to expand this, you could move this back and just add another bank of computers, another right. bank of computers, just make it bigger and bigger. Actually, I saw a picture where the guy in the back, who was so far back, uh, eventually in one of these control centers, they had binoculars <laughs> so he could look up at the board awesome. in the front. Um, one of the things you're going to notice immediately on this is all of the printing, just yeah. amazing, amazing printing. It's so everywhere. I guess we're kind of getting into the kit, but sure. I mean, as far as history goes, we also uh, have another kit we're releasing, which is the um, Mini Mercury Atlas VI rocket at one one tenth scale to match uh, other Lego rockets. Um, but we also have the Friendship 7 space capsule right. um, with a John Glenn and the minifigure. Capsule, the capsule that is, is minifigure scale. Yes, that's at 1 35th minifigure scale. <laughs> so anyway, there is, so this particular figure here would be um, based off of Katherine Johnson. Right. Um, and she's got a, a go, no go uh, printed tile there with the actual yep. landing uh, figures, uh, longitude and latitude. Um, which I think is super cool. Figures 360 degree printed. Yep. Um, but yeah, instead of having the computers back then, uh, we had human computers. So right. she, she was basically doing all these calculations and everything which other people couldn't even figure out. She was way past that. Um, and I think John Glenn actually confirmed, wanted to have her confirm the codes, or the uh, longitude and latitude and all the math and everything before climbing into the uh, Friendship 7, you know, before blasting off right. to make sure he was going to be able to get back okay. Right. Um, so definitely uh, I wanted to include that in the kit. I thought it would be really cool to uh, include that. And then you have 15, besides her, you have 15 other uh, mission control people, all, yeah. all the different people and stations. And actually in the instruction booklet with all the computers and stuff, um, I did put in um, like computer or station placement, like where the different people were stations, like you had the flight surgeon over here and mm -hmm. um, and the, the different uh, uh, computers or the plot boards and what, what they're called. So you get a little bit sure. nice, you know, um, screenshot or yeah. top down of all the places. I mean, let's let's go over some of the printing on here. It's, there's it's a lot of cool stuff here. So this is the uh, 
What's the official name of this this front part? Uh, it's a world map. Sure, the world map. Yeah. Yep. Um, but it would it would show the uh, the orbits, uh, the flight path right. of the capsule, and it, as it was passing by each station throughout the globe, they were kind of checking it off. Right. There's all these lights indicating where it was at and where the what the countdowns were to certain you know re-entry or booster or rocket or all that stuff. I, s I spent a lot of time trying to get that cool 1960s color on, on this, on the, uh, the board in the back. The colors and, and numbers and things that are on here, they're not by accident. They are on <laughs> purpose. We yep. do a lot of research, go through a lot of photos and um, just, and then the printing part, they, you know, th this takes a whole team to do Absolutely. and uh, you, you could come up with one color in the print team. You know, they might print it, might come up on an off color. We go back and like, no, no, it has to be this color. So here are the uh, plot boards. Um, again, that I tried uh, to get that color match right. It's these are kind of these are backlit, um, kind of a nice soft greenish yellowish glow to them uh, in real life. So I tried to match that, and those are just super cool. Got three of those in there, right? Yep, three of those. Um, of course, these just, I don't know if, I don't remember the exact what these were for, but. So there's, there's data input, sure. and then there's certain readouts, and there's dials and switches, and um, back in the day, they had rotary phones. Right. Um, and when I was doing research, I saw pretty much every station there had a rotary phone, um, not necessarily detached, like a standard phone we'd look at, but they were right. actually part of the computer console. Um, but they would plug in a headset. So if you notice all these guys, we haven't turned around sure. this way, but all of these guys have a headset on there. So they plug in. But we do have a couple of uh, separate rotary phones up yep. top. So he yeah, has buttons and switches phones. and dials. Maybe a better a top down view here. Yeah, that's cool looking. Yeah, you Bird's get, eye view, right? You got a cool on there too of the, uh, the rocket lifting off on one of the yep. TV screens. Um, yeah, you get two of those um, based on the photos that I could find that they, two of these were screens and we're not positive on what this one would have been. Maybe a, um, a camera guy was speculating it was maybe some sort of transparency display. Um, so either some kind of data readout or maybe a, uh, um, there was a camera maybe in the capsule, let's say for the flight surgeon to uh, view the um, so. astronauts uh, Vitals and if stuff. If you know what this one particular screen is, I'm curious. Yeah, I mean, if you <laughs> if you guys know, please let us know. I mean, we've done so much research, and some of it we couldn't find or nail down. But if you know, yeah, let us know. So yeah, tons of buttons, obviously, all over the place. Let's look back at this again um, with the rotary phones. Um, these are the uh, these are these these would be the data readouts um, with numbers on them, and just based on whatever it's it's monitoring. Um, that's where it would show up in the command center. So. Cool. Um, How about this guy right there? Oh yeah, this How is a cool little detail here. So it's your very own little scale, miniature model of... Yeah, I thought it'd be nice to have a little model, you know, sitting up over yeah. there. Um, I think I'm, I may have seen a picture of something where they had like a little one hanging from the ceiling or something. There were other TV monitors. Sure. Behind these guys there was like a glass uh, there were windows, and then they had some observers behind it. So they had some TV screens to look at the launch and see I'm this sure. as well. Um, but I thought I saw a little model hanging from the ceiling, and we nice. have a ceiling here, so I thought I'd put it on the Just desk there. Just a cool there. little detail here. Yeah. Cutest little cool. Friendship 7 you'll ever get. <laughs> Absolutely. I think we only made 50 of these. This is very limited. Yep. Um, and I know we have some customers that, as soon as that goes for sale, boom, they're hitting Damn. that button. So. Good luck it's a, it's a, getting one. Uh, I hope you do. I I think we're all really proud of this set. This is like the most figures, the most printing, iconic. Yeah. Um, There's some amazing history behind it. So. Yeah, and and this could also be expanded, like I said, to cool. other rockets and stuff. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, we did we did some new new designs, like with the chairs and stuff. Added in a couple cool little other things, but. Yeah. That's cool. I love this set. <laughs> <laughs> I love this set too, Yancy. <laughs> All right, that is the episode. For more information, check out brickmania.com. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.